Hello friends, welcome to Curiosity Hive, a hive where your curiosity meets learning, sharing, thought and action. So do subscribe to our channel and join this learning community. So today we are going to do the IMO level 2 paper for class 4 and we are focusing on set 1. Next question. Prachi has arranged some boxes in the pattern shown here. These are the boxes here. Which number sentence best represents her arrangement of boxes? Is it option A, 7 plus 4 is 11? Is it option B, 7 times 4 is 28? Is it option C, 7 times 7 is 49? Is it option D, 4 times 4 is 16? Your time starts now. Well, here one of the easy way to come to the answer if you're confused is just count the number of boxes and whichever answer matches is the option. Or if you know the rule, it is you count the number of boxes on the rows which is 4 and the number of boxes in one column which is 7 and 4 times 7 is equal to 28 would be the total number of boxes. Hence our right answer is option B which says 7 times 4 is 28. Next question. The sum of digit at tens place and digit at thousands place of a number obtained by adding the largest four digit number to the smallest five digit number is? Is it option A 9? Is it option B 10? Is it option C 18? Or option D 19? Your time starts now. The answer to this is option C18. Let me explain how. So first what we need to find a number that is obtained by adding the largest 4 digit number to the smallest 5 digit number. So what is the largest 4 digit number? Well it is 9 all the way which is the largest single digit number which needs to be placed. And the smallest 5 digit number would be 10,000. So 10,000 plus 9,999 is 19999. Nine, nine, nine. So this is my 1s, this is my 10s, this is my 100s, this is my 1000s and this is my 10,000s. Now what do I need to find? The sum of digit at 10s place and at 1000s place. So this is my 10s place and this is my 1000s place. I need to add them together so 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. So my right answer is option C 18. Next question. What is the perimeter of the given figure? This is the figure here and they have said that one side of this box is 2 centimeters. Is it option A 38 centimeter? Is it option B 54 centimeter? Is it C 32 centimeter or B 36 centimeter? Your time starts now. Well, as we had discussed earlier, perimeter is the boundary or the length of the boundary that encloses the figure. So this figure is made out of boxes that means each side is 2 cm. So let's just mark the 2 cm around the boxes. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Already we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it is 18 times 2 which is equal to 36 hence the perimeter is 36 centimeter. Next question. Aman reads 172 pages on Monday and 147 pages on Tuesday of a book. If the book contains 432 pages then how many more pages he has to read? Is it option A 130? Is it option B 142? Is it option C 146 or option D 117? Your time starts now. Well, these are easy sums and only need you to solve it correctly arithmetically. So on Monday he reads 172 
and on Tuesday he reads 147 pages. And the total number of pages he has read all together is the sum of both of these numbers which is 319. And this book contains 432 pages. So how many pages more he has to read? Well that is 432 minus the total number of pages he has already read that is 319 which when you subtract you will get the answer as 113. Is the right answer is option A113. Next question. Karan's weight is 56 kg. His brother's weight is 1 3 by 4 times of his weight. What is the total weight of both of them? Is it option A 135 kg? Is it option B 154 kg? Is it option C 160 kg? Or option D 168 kg? Your time starts now. Well, let's do it together. So, Karan's weight is 56 and his brother's weight is 1, 3 by 4 times of his weight. That means it is 1, 3 by 4 times 56. Now, how do we solve this mixed fraction? Well, that is denominator times the whole number plus the numerator in the numerator. So, that is 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 by 4 by the same denominator into 56. So this is equal to 7 by 4 into 56. Now let's divide 56 by 4. So 4 times 1 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. So 1 and 6 will come down. So 16. So 4 times 4 is 16 and the remainder is 0. So this let's multiply by 7. 7 times 4 is 28, 8 carry 2, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. So, 98 kg is Karan's brother's weight. So, Karan's weight, K's weight is 56 and brother of Karan, his weight is 98. So, if we sum them together, 8 plus 6 is 14, 4 carry 1 and 9 plus 1 is 9 plus 5, 15. So, 154 kgs is the sum of both of their weights. Hence, option B is the right answer. Next question. The time 4 hours 10 minutes after 11, 10 a.m. is? Is it option A, 3.20 a.m.? Is it option B, 4.20 p.m.? Is it option C, 4.20 a.m. or option D, 3.20 p.m.? Your time starts now. Well, let's look at this together. So, let's write our time here which is 11.10 a.m. So, we'll look at a.m. p.m. later. Let's just write 11.10. And to this we add 4 hours and 10 minutes. This is simple. 10 plus 10 is 20 minutes. And 11 plus 4 is 15. Now this is AM. And after 12 it becomes PM. So we need to subtract 15, 20 by 12 to get how much it is into PM. So, this is 320 and it has moved in the PM. So, the time is 320 PM which is option B and that is our right answer. Next question. What fraction of square is shaded? These are some shadings. Is it option A 4 by 20? Is it option B 5 by 20? Is it option C 6 by 20 or option D 7 by 20? Your time starts now. Well, if you notice the answer, all the denominators are same. Hence, the small boxes would be 20. Now, first let's count the boxes that are completely shaded for the square. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are completely shaded. And these two, if combined together, 
will give us one shaded block more. So we have six complete boxes shaded, hence the answer is option C. The fraction of shading is 6 by 20. Next question. If 5 by 6 is equal to something by 3 plus 1 by 6, then the missing number in the box is what? Is it option A1? Is it option B2? Is it option C3? Or option D4? Your time starts now. Well, let's solve this together and let's call this unknown number as x. So, we have x by 3 plus 1 by 6 which is equal to 5 by 6. Now, the denominator needs to be equal for us to be adding the numerator easily. So, the way to equate the denominator is to make this also 6. And to do that, we we'll multiply 2 with both the numerator and denominator because it is as good as multiplying 1 which is the same number itself. So, this will give us 2 times x by 6 plus 1 by 6 that is equal to 5. Hence, we can assume 2 times of x plus 1 is equal to 5. Now, 2 now, since this is equation, I'll subtract 1 from both sides. So, I'm left with 2 times x is equal to 4. And 2 times of 2 is equal to 4. Hence, the right answer is 2, which is option B. Next question. 34,000s, 50,100, 10,10s plus 16,000s, 30,100s, 18,10s is equal to what? Is it option A, 5802? Is it option B, 58,820? Is it option C, 58,280? Or option D, 5800? The time starts now. Well, here it's a simple one, but we need to write these properly. So, we have got 34 thousands, which is 34 times thousand. 50 hundreds which is 50 times 100 and 10 tens which is 10 times 10 and this one added together will give us this complete number. So 34 times 1000 is 34,000 plus 50 times 100 is 5,000 plus 10 times 10 is 100. So the sum of all together is 39,100. And similarly for the other number, it's 16,000 is 16,000 plus 30 hundreds is 30 times 100, that is 3,000 plus 18 tens is 18 times 10, that is 180. The sum of all together is 19,180 and we need to add them two together and when we do the addition of these two numbers, we'll get 58,280 which is our option C. Next question, if 1000 grams of oranges cost rupees 100 and 50 grams of apples cost rupees 70, then what is the cost of 2 kg of apples and 3 kg of oranges altogether? Is it option A rupees 410? Is it option B rupees 620? Is it option C rupees 580? Or option D rupees 440? Your time starts now. Now, let's do this together. So, we have 1000 grams of oranges which cost rupees 100. So, this is for my oranges. Now, 1000 gram is nothing but 1 kg. So, my 1 kg of oranges is 100 rupees. So, how many do I need to find? 3 kgs of oranges. So, 3 kgs of oranges would be 3 times 100 that is equal to rupees 300. Now let's come to apples. Now what does it say? 500 grams of apple cost rupees 70. Now 500 grams is 
half of thousand grams. Hence, it is half a kg because thousand grams is one kg, and five hundred is half of it. Hence, five hundred grams is half kg, and this half kg is equal to rupees seventy. And how many apples I need? I need two kgs of apples. So that means one kg is two times half. So one kg is half kg plus half kg. That is equal to seventy plus seventy. So we get one kg is equal to one forty rupees. And we need two kgs of apples, which will be equal to one forty times two. That is equal to two eighty rupees is the cost of the apple. So now we need to add them two together. So it will be three hundred plus two eighty, which is five eighty rupees is the cost of the apple and oranges together, which is option C. That is our right answer. Well, with that we come to the end of the second section of this video. So we'll take a break here and for the next set of questions click on the video description given below. So till we meet again take care.